Well, that was a change. The uh, the epic music there on the epic channel on Pretzel is normally more like classical, like superhero fantasy stuff. And that was more like a horror movie chase sequence. <laughs> so there's that. Welcome in, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and this is The Citadel. It is a survival Let's Play server where we're doing geeky stuff in Minecraft with friends like Steven, who was online but is no longer online right now. Um, he was there. I swear he was there. Uh, anyway, we are in the medieval area on the server. We've been working on this church and this courtyard for ooh, a couple of streams now. And uh, the last time we were here was just yesterday. I'm going to fly over to Megan's Tower and we'll take a look at some of the things we need to do today. So we, we completed this wall only to realize that I had done some miscalculations on the way that I wanted it to look on the outside. So we have to connect it here in a way that we're happy with. And we, we want to, I think, reassess this tower. I don't think I'm going to go with this angled tower. I don't think it really works for this particular build. So I think... I think we're going to put a square tower or something else entirely. So we will figure that out. I think the thing to do is going to be to remove the tower first and just build the wall. And then we will add the tower or towers in the best place for them. It felt like a cross between the Holst's planets and uh, circus music to me. Yeah, actually, that's pretty accurate. I haven't heard that. That body of work in a long time, the Holst Planets. Yeah, that's a long time. University, maybe? I took music in university for a, a semester. Hey, Shepard, how's it going? Sweet Sandy's here as well. Hello. I reheated my coffee. I had coffee with breakfast and I had another cup and I had to zap it before I started the stream. And I didn't want it to get cold quickly, so I, I zapped it too long. <laughs> it gets quite hot. <laughs> All right, decision made. Tower is no longer going to be tower. Let's just remove this. Which is going to present us with a problem about how we um, actually curve this wall. Hopefully that will be something we can take advantage of. one of the great things about this game is that if you it's it's not as big of a bother if you haven't committed to anything like really he, like design heavy like if you haven't done a lot of work on something tearing it down is really not that much work just tearing down the frame of a tower it's, it takes five minutes it's not the end of the world okay so uh we have one two three four five six and then two twos and then one two three four one, two, three, four, five. Right. So two, two, and then five. Two, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then I don't remember how long this side is. I want to try to make them symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that looks okay. Yeah, twelve. So we'll do that here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. I don't know what's going to happen here. <clears throat> Rip tower, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to carve out, I think this is unfortunately only going to be like a floor. So this is 12, so we want to go to here. I'm just going to take this down a notch just so I'm not confused with what's wall and what, what was tower. So whatever we do here, probably going to come out to about there because we've got stairs there, 
there. Got those and it's probably as far as it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think there's twelve on the other side. I think it's only eleven. You have any ideas on something to go there? Uh no. Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is twelve. And it starts two into that six. Yeah, okay. Um that does not feel the same. Alright, uh, the other thing we have to think about is how we adjust this side here. Yeah, this feels odd. But this, I guess, is just going to be a different, a different shape. Maybe... Maybe we don't do 12 here. Maybe we have to start to angle things a little bit different. I don't mind this shape. So if this was coming in like this in twos, I think we have to get rid of the whole wall so I can see clearly. We're not the whole wall, the whole tower. <laughs> whole wall, yeah, no, we're not doing that. No, the whole tower, <laughs> whole tower has to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what looks good on the top and then we'll just, we'll pull it down. It's just for the map to work uh, and feel accurate uh, easily, it's better to remove all the other things that are kind of that you're gonna see, you know, from looking down. Nice to get some of this andesite back too. Oh, Cosmic said that she dropped off. Um, she came to get her flowers and she dropped off andesite in the barn. That's good. Lots of material to work with. think that should look good from the top. Oh, longer not standing in the way. Still not ginger. Hello, how's it going? Um, map. Yeah, I don't mind that so much. I feel like we could maybe this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We might be able to I like the gentle kind of curve of this. I want it to just be a little bit longer here. So maybe where there's two there, we'll do four. So we'll grab this. And we'll do that to there. does not work for arg so i guess we'll do one more i'm not sure why this is all backwards because it seems to be working out so well on the other side Or yeah, so it's two, two, and then four. I think that's what we did. Two, two, one, two, three, four. 
Right, so it's, if we did four here, it would work out. Which is fine, because we've got to revamp the other end of it. The, um, yeah, because um, I remembered now that this is off. We can't put the wall in this position because it doesn't work out for this tower. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I feel like I have to do... I guess we have to put the wall straight out to here? Which is too bad. It doesn't look awful. But... I, I, I miss not being able to see the die right there. As, as weird as that is to say out loud. We're running a couple of um, very small quality of life mods, just a map and um, some sound mods. And I can look inside shulker boxes in my inventory, but I don't have one. But that's it. There's nothing. That's it. A couple of data packs, but it's think like um, Hermitcraft, like that kind of a vanilla gameplay. Jazz plays. Welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, I guess that's probably the simplest solution, hey, is to just move the wall out uh, by one on the end here. It's annoying, but mistakes were made. You got to roll with them, right? So all of this is going to just... And I'm totally going to get this stuff back. Oops. I guess the other thing we could do is we could leave it as four wide. Because that's, that's fine there. We don't have to like shorten it up I don't think I think in other cases we've made it for Y when it comes off of the main gates too yeah that's totally the case okay oh sleep time Charlie just listen to the podcast cool which one spawn chunks I'm assuming spawn chunks but there's another one we do the Citadel Cafe as well we I mean I and my friends, Stephen, Megan, Lou, and Brockett. Although Brock, Brockett is, um, he's like taking a little bit of a break. Him, him and his wife just had a new baby. And that means that these can probably stay here. And we'll want this to come out to a, a decent section. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means that this will, I guess the thing to do is just gonna be to go down here. Basically we're low on end of sight, that's why I'm taking all this stuff back. Basically, I just don't want to redo this pattern again, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna trace it. I do this all the time in my artwork when there's something I really like and I want to bring it forward. It's like it feels weird to trace something, but it's like it's my work. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, <laughs> but it always feels very strange.
Ugh, it was so hard. Alright, so that'll give us a decent starting point. I feel like we might have to just assess to see whether this is wide enough. Oh, you listen while cycling. That's really cool. We've had somebody write in and say that, that we were part of their daily commute, which I thought was really cool. Jazz plays uh, Spawn Trucks is my commute podcast, and the Sizzle Cafe and Comics Coast to Coast is my podcast I play with when I'm doing mining sessions. Oh, very cool. Comics Coast to Coast. Wow, that is some deep dive. Are you going through the archive? Because we haven't recorded new shows. I mean, the shows have essentially done. We haven't done new content for that show in a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, they say. We might stick it to six just because it might be more useful for us. Yeah, the archive. There's some good interviews. One of my favorite interviews. Um, I think we've, we interviewed him twice. Dave Kellett from Sheldon and Drive. And um, the, the one interview or one of, one of the interviews where I got very, um, I don't want to say starstruck, but I was definitely excited and nervous was interviewing Scotty Young. That was that was a trip. That was very, very cool. I've looked up to Scotty Young for quite a long time as an artist and to have a chance to interview him was just epic. I don't know if this is necessarily the best way to do this, but this is how we're how we're rolling. Something I find really challenging about builds like this is trying to figure out the pattern and being able to make it look good while you're on top of it. I always find that very challenging. So the fact that we can potentially like just trace the pattern first, do it that way. It looks like my intention was to go down a step with each section here to get down to this wall height. So we'll continue on with that idea. Looks like this gets busted out. Evil Shadow, doing well, thank you. Hot cup of coffee, can't complain. Minecraft, you know, Sunday. Had a really nice Sunday breakfast. If you're that interested, it's on Instagram. Surprising no one. You know, it's funny. I see a lot of, like, comedians and stuff make fun of um, people posting lunch and stuff on instagram like no one no one cares about your lunch i get a lot of comments people really do care about my lunch anyway <laughs> or my breakfast i find it kind of funny all right so we'll leave this here because of, of the stairs i want to leave those two wide um so then we've got four four and this is where we have to start to get creative because we've got a, a chink in our armor so to speak here Yeah, I feel like we need to come out as we've been doing. I think the fact that we've had to bump this out by one up to the front, we have to continue that pattern. What I do want to check, though, is to make sure that we can do this the right way so it looks good. I care if I don't see a pancake post on Saturday. I worry a little. Uh, I, you know what? I have had friends, because, I mean, here's just the people that, you know, if you want to create memes, if you want to kind of become part of someone's everyday podcasting is the same way consistency you know i stream every weekend saturday sunday uh it works out for my life i'm not saying that's specifically where people should stream but like um uh, very often you know mrs snarky um miss snarky pardon me is is uh either training or working on weekends 
uh, my family is busy. Um, my sister's got, you know, a, a kid. So like, it's really easy to just find time on Saturday, Sunday, but I keep it consistent. And it's the same thing with the pancakes. I get, uh, I'm no missus. Yes. She's, <laughs> she's in the, in the chat of all the times for me to flub up on the name. Ms. Ms. Snarky. Yes. Um, of all the times for me to flub up on the name. That's hilarious. Hi. <laughs> D. Yeah. Huh? I'll pay for that later. Uh, I, um, Wow, I'm like, I'm blushing right now. I'm six shades of red. Same temperature as my coffee. Um, with, uh, with the pancake thing, I will get messages on Facebook saying, hey, do you remember this photo from nine years ago? It's a plate of pancakes. It's, it's, a, it's just a plate of pancakes. I'm just like, do I remember posting pancakes? Yes. Do I remember that particular plate of pancakes nine years ago? Probably not. <laughs> You know, like just every Saturday. Speaking of coffee, what roasts do you have? Uh, right now, uh, I am drinking the Komodo Dragon um, from Starbucks. I still have some of it left from Christmas. It was a stocking stuffer. So it's getting low, though. I have to refresh. I might have to go down to the valley and get some more. Uh, so it was stairs that we started off here. I don't know if this is going to work out well. That means that that is that way, and then we'd have a stair there. I don't know what would be the best way to do this. It means we'd have a stair here, and then a stair here. No. Right, so that stair there. Can't do that. Okay, so that's that's a no-no. We want to... We can't have a stair. It works here only because it goes down by a block. So I feel like we want to... Want to change this up. Maybe we'll extend this by one block. I think that's maybe why the other one was seven. Because if this goes to here, we have a stair there. Then that becomes a block. Wait a minute, that doesn't change anything. That doesn't change anything. Oh, this is five. Maybe we need to make this four. That's probably what I did wrong. Let's do that instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I was trying to make this symmetrical. It's so hard when you've built so many of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I guess as long as the next one we do is an even number, we should be okay. And this would go here and there. And then back like that. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I should have gone in this way. So many doors. Whoops. Oh man, our pickaxes are nearly done. We have to go repair some stuff. Be better if I wasn't working. Speaking of which, break is over. Hope everything is going great. Thanks so much. See you later. Have a good shift. Bye for now. Uh, I want some top of the morning coffee from Jaseptic Guy. I want to see where's the price. Oh, I don't, I don't think coffee needs to be expensive to be good. It's it's essentially, you know, ro roasted beans. Like it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be good. Positive rainbows going to Miss Snarky, everybody. 
Everybody hit Ms. Snarky. Ms. Snarky. <laughs> Positive vibes. <laughs> Sorcerer, we're doing good, thank you. Although I just realized my pickaxe is really low, and it's it's a um, netherite pickaxe, so um, I want to just make sure we've got this sorted out, and then we're going to go repair some stuff, I think, which is good for anybody that's new to the channel. You're going to get to see a um, you're going to get to see a bit of a server tour. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we'll change this. And yeah, and then from here, we'll knock that down, put two there, two there. Now here, I feel like we have to start to get creative. It's the same idea. We want this to end on a solid block because there can't go there. I feel like if we get rid of... Oh, we're not going back far enough, are we? I see what happened here. I think we have to work in some singles. So there and there. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I think we're going to have to rework this section. So we will sort that out when we come back. Because again, I want to go repair. The elytra could use a tune-up too. We'll do that. Rust to Alexander, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your Saturday yesterday. The city looks amazing. Thank you, sorcerer. I very much appreciate that. Uh, we need some rockets. Uh, we have food. I don't think we need any more food right now. So really, we just need to get the andesite and um, repair our stuff. Oh, we need stone. Hello. We're definitely taking this trip. Definitely taking a trip here. Do we need anything else? Does anybody remember if there's anything else on our list that we needed that we've been short on? The last few few streams. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Well, we've got a couple of nearly empty shulker boxes, so we'll take those just in case. Uh, so I was streaming some Satisfactory. Yeah, yesterday was a big double header. Uh, we're probably going to do the same thing today. I was able to start streaming before one, so we'll probably do a few hours of Minecraft and then switch over to Satisfactory. Stone is something we need. You're right. I have that. Don't need diorite. Don't need bones. Everything, we're good there. Let's bring this and... Okay. Nothing else. Oh. Oh, it just has mending. What we have for, oh, we only have four levels. I wish I had more netherite because I want to make an, an axe. Or not an axe, a shovel. I've not really made the transition to netherite tools. I just, I've, I've not found that they are overly useful given the trouble it is to get the netherite. I mean, is that weird? Am I alone there? 
So we'll just bring, oh, we'll bring all of this stuff. Just bring this with us. All right. We've got to stop by the barn on the way. So this will be good. I feel like I played a lot yesterday, but didn't get a chance to really chat super much with the chat. Also, apparently I can't form sentences today. Sooner or later, if you ever decide to stream or podcast, you will find that you will just be able to utter nonsensical things and still have it sound like a sentence in your head before it comes out of your face. But then afterwards, you're like, mm, nope, that was not. They were English words, but they don't normally go in that order. Oh, thanks, Chess Plays. One of the nice things about when I do have to repair things is I try not to fly. Like, I try not to fly all the way back. I like to walk just because it gives new people to the channel a chance to see what we've been working on the last few months. Uh, obviously, we need to fill in this road. Uh, and it's pretty basic. There's not a lot of texture going on. There's more texture farther down. Stuff like this. Like, I, I like the, the added little flare here with the spruce planks and, and stripped spruce. Your friend's on an SMP and hasn't gotten netherite upgrades either. Yeah, no, it's just, it's, we might look for a little bit just in the off chance because I only need two scraps in order to make, in order to make another. Wow. Thank you, Cosmic. Uh, is the, is the box for us or is it just, is it just the, is it, is it just the, um, the andesite? E, thank you. I'm glad you like it so far. There's still a lot to do, which is great. It's a, it's a something about a big build like this is that you are never at a loss for what to do. It's more about deciding what to do next. Like you, you have six or eight different things that you need to get done and you just, you know, it's just a matter of what mood you're in, right? Are you sure, Cosmic? Thank you very much. We uh I think we might have to allocate a shulker box for each kind of wood. Uh, we are at that stage now where having multiple wood things in one shulker box is not the best. Eventually I'm going to be in the mood to come back and finish this path, speaking of things that are meant to be done. Cosmic took a really cool um, screenshot from up here the other day. It was really pretty. I think it was Sunset. Yeah, I'll change the name of it. I'll change the name of it. I've been putting House Joel on all of my shulker boxes just in case. Because it's a, it's a, you know, group community area. So, like, in case there's shulker boxes around, I don't want people to get confused. I only get to netherite farm after I have a pretty big supply of TNT, says Max. Yeah, I, I mine for netherite by hand. Like, I just... I don't like the idea of TNT. It drives me nuts. We don't do any um, TNT duping on the server. So. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> Optimal screenshot time with shaders? Yeah, 100%. Oh, are we wearing... Okay, we're wearing a gold helmet. So first things first, we'll go get the stone. Uh, do we have any here? It does not look like it. Very, very little. So we'll grab it from our swamp. The ancient debris does not get um, blown up by TNT? No. No, it's... It's similar, it works similar to how moss will spread into stone blocks in 117, but it won't spread into ore blocks, so you're not going to go over a diamond ore or coal ore with moss. Uh, TNT in the nether, same thing, because netherite, uh, s netherite is um, blast proof and, and lava proof, it, um, it doesn't have, um, it doesn't blow up. It's like obsidian. Yeah, E's got it right in the chat. It's, it's like obsidian. I think they've changed the sounds in the in the swamp in this new 
uh, ambience pack. It's it's still intense, but it's not like it was before. It's much nicer. Uh, we need stone. Oh. There we go. Stone is refilled. Check. Well, I know we don't have any andesite here, but Cosmic just gave us a bunch. So that's good. I don't recall if I have any, like, tree things here. We have a lot of this stuff already. Actually, you know what I should bring? Is, um, some mushrooms. Because we've been using the mushroom stems. I think, remind me, are mushroom, brown mushroom and red mushroom stems are the same, right? They're not different. Yeah, it's it's more pleasant. It's also not a short loop as the other one was, I don't think. Although, it could have been the nighttime. The daytime seems very familiar. Yeah, so I guess it was just stone. Um, we'll go check the Dartmouth Meadows site to see... I wouldn't mind looking to see what those villager farms might need fixing too. Might as well since we're here. Why do I have an egg? Cosmic says I haven't made the move to netherite yet. Hmm. I want it for things like a shovel that lasts longer when you're doing like a lot of landscaping and digging. The riverscaping in the meadows or in the um in the medieval place. So this is the oldest part of the server. And I want to go check the silo. And these are the farms we need to check too. I'm pretty sure I already stripped out the andesite here. But we'll see. Yep. No andesite. Fair. So, uh, here we have a little bit of lag because arms. Um, apparently... These guys don't fill up the potatoes. So the pressure plates that he's standing on and the one on the other side, um, they activate a block update and he's supposed to be planting. He's not harvesting anything, it doesn't look like. Or his inventory is maybe full. here no oh, I just try to do the satisfactory scoot jump huh that won't work there we go uh, so let's just try and get this without losing the block here right so there is the farm parts And so he's not planting anything. Huh. Does anybody know how, like, what might have broken these farms? I think the problem with that one is that he's a Fletcher now, somehow. Oh, I never thought about that. Because when we built these, the professions weren't a thing. He should be a farmer because there's a composter in the middle. You're right, he's a Fletcher. Huh. Where is... Why is he a Fletcher? There's no... What 
That is so bizarre. I wonder if I, don't, I wonder if Anna Marie put something like within distance barrels. Whoa, wow. There's a hole here now. Cool. Um, sometimes when decorating, people use locks under construction. There's the loom. But like that's not close enough for him to be pulled towards the loom, I don't think. So we get struck by lightning before we turn it off. So you're right, he's a Fletcher, but why is he a Fletcher? It's so weird. Oh, I filled it back in. Um, hmm. That's strange. What about this one? What's the deal with this guy? So here, he's got stuff planted, but he's not walking over the pressure plates. He's planting stuff over there. I can hear him. Oh, I wonder if it's because they bone meal stuff. Oh, an arrow table? Yeah, that's true. I was looking at the loom. I got Fletcher and the other one mixed up. The other two are farmers, but still don't work. I, I think it's because the new bone meal thing. Yeah, he's bone mealing stuff. He's not planting it anymore. Because I know the new farms that I see online, they don't they don't work like this. There's a there's a second villager that they're trying to throw stuff to. Hey, Rowan Tree, how's it going? We're just looking at some farms here in the meadows quickly when we were coming back to repair our gear. And they're not working. Stuff is growing. It's obviously being planted. But these two things are supposed to be knocked off. Like when you when you stand on these pressure plates, these gets updated and they're supposed to be knocked off. Obviously not when I have the, the roof open, but the light level back here is low when the roof is shut. He needs a friend to send the items to. So these farms don't work anymore? Because before you didn't need that. Yeah, he totally just walked on that pressure plate. Nothing happened. I mean, we've got other villagers. It's fine. We can totally... The darkness mechanic doesn't work anymore. Okay, well, that will give me some information to, to look into. I didn't want to fix them on stream because I didn't know what the issue was, but once I can do a little bit of research, it should be good. Oh, really? We only have... There'd be more dark oak here somewhere. I just need dark oak slabs. <laughs> really? Okay, fine. You can also fill his inventory with potatoes and have a Minecraft hopper to collect. So that's the thing. His inventory is full of those blocks. People are saying that the darkness mechanic doesn't work. That was bothering me. Now it is fixed. All right. Well, if that's the case, then the wheat farm over here isn't working either. I mean, for one, the minecart isn't moving, so that won't help. That's always a pain in the butt to fix. But this guy...
His inventory is full of wheat. The wheat's on the floor. So the the wheat problem, I think, is just the minecart. There's bone meal in there. Because underneath... We've got everything sorted. So we've got... Seeds are all backed up. Any extra seeds are being filtered out by this hopper? No, this hopper. Yeah, extra seeds go this way. They get spat into a cactus. This is the filter for the wheat. Pretty sure. Yeah. So the wheat's there, it's just locked. Well, that's the, that's the backup for the, that's filling up the chest, I guess. Oh, there we go. So that's going to our, our greenhouse. So the issue there was that we had bone meal and this burns out. I knew this. I knew that this burned out. There's not much we can do about that. Which is fine. Uh, okay, so really we just have to fix the minecart for the wheat. So for fi folks that don't know, the wheat gets shot out here and sent on the waterway. And this goes all the way down uh, to the um, greenhouse. There's another waterway directly above us. That's got carrots and potatoes in it. All right, so this gets sorted out here. You'll see it gets shot up. So we've got one of these is wheat. I remember which one. Well, the pumpkins are coming in. So, but the pumpkins aren't villager farms. Carrots, carrots, I think the wheats are yellow. Potatoes, no, wheat's green, I guess. Yeah, okay. Fair. So the hopper was clogged on the, uh, on the wheat farm. Why not spit them into a composter? Because the farm was designed before um, composting was a thing. <laughs> we hadn't thought about that. It's a good idea, actually. That's a much better idea than than a um, much better idea than a uh, uh, a cactus. Right, so that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Excellent. Uh, what's not happening is this, unfortunately. I think this is the easiest way to get in. Nope. Right, see, this is the issue. Uh, how do I do this easily? Let's put a block over you. Oh, darn it. Alright, I don't remember what that was. I'm assuming it's going to be probably dark oak. And this was... that's how it looked now I just have to make sure that whatever block got down there is not jammed up I don't remember where that comes in these two I believe 
Oh, here we go. So everything here should be wheat. Yeah. Okay. So I think it might be just in fact of that that minecart uh, unloading, and plus we've got the villager is now putting in. He's got the ability to bone meal now, so he might have. There might be bone meal that comes out of this that gets pulled in by the hopper. So it's a good call. Actually, who was it? I think it was Meldedmin. Meldedmin, maybe, uh, suggested that we add in a filter down here for bone meal. And instead of putting this into a, a cactus, we could put the extra seeds. Um, obviously, I wanted to keep some. But anything beyond that, like these extra seeds out this way, we could put into a composter and then have bone meal because I've got a... I've got a bone barn that we could hook up. That could be really cool, actually. It's a good idea for project. Cosmic, write that down. <laughs> uh, yes, that should fix it. This looks like it's done now. So if we go back over to the, the greenhouse, we should be able to see wheat coming in. Break time when you're ready. Thank you, Cosmic. Yes, good call. Good call. What I'll do is I think I'll go, uh, I'll go AFK at the um, gold farm. See if any wheat comes in. Yep. Nice. Okay. Wheat farm is functional. I should let people know in the in the sizzle chat on Discord, but we will definitely need to um definitely need to update the uh the wheat farm. And I guess for these farms for so again, while I have you knowledgeable, awesome people uh in chat, uh there's no way to fix these. We have to redesign them, right? We have to put another villager probably at the back for them to try and toss things to. Is that how that works? Because uh, here's, the, here's the idea. There's a chest that's supposed to be full of carrots here. This fills up first. And then I have a redstone circuit that I designed, which I'm, I'm actually quite proud of. And that's underneath. So if we go back here to the secret, secret uh, door. So down here... It's just the redstone calculation that says like, hey, when the chest, which is right above this hopper, has only one more left, then start shooting them out. And so potatoes, uh, I think there's potatoes as well. No, carrots? Don't remember. Either way, it waits for the thing to fill up. Right? So then these come from the back of the farm and it fills up the chest, which you can see right there. Potatoes. And it fills them up. And then when the chest has only got one more left, it shoots them out into the water streams. And these water streams all go to the, um, the greenhouse down that way. So really, this isn't the issue. It's, the, it's that the farmer is not... Well, one guy's not even a farmer, uh, but the farmer is not doing their thing because these light level things don't work anymore. I always break grass when I try to break, close this trapdoor. Jumbo sale, hello. Good to see you again. Just dropping in for a bit. Oh, you gotta run, cool. Well, have a good Sunday. Thanks again for coming by. Alright, so we can fix those villager farms some other time. Um, probably a lot of villager finagling, which is never my favorite thing. Hopefully unloading that minecart does not break the farm. So I can't think of any other blocks that we needed, so we might as well just go to the, um, the gold farm. Probably easier to rebuild from the ground up. You wouldn't think it would be easier just to get a villager at the back there? Because that's all they have to do, right? Is try to feed another villager.
Because everything below ground is not changing. I'm not giving that up. All the stuff below ground is um got nothing to do with the farm, like with the farm functionality. Yeah, I can look up some stuff from Logical Geek Boy. He's probably got some pretty simple farms. I know um Impulse has a decent farm, build your farm design too. Really all I need is just the part where the villagers throw things to each other and what position they have to be in. Yeah, I've got the hoppers around it. Feel better now that an expert has taken a look? No, it's glad I'm glad that you pointed it out, Cosmic. It's good to know that they weren't working. Because I've been using golden carrots for food for a while and we were slowly running out of carrots. It's like, this is weird. This should be refilling. Especially with people working in the meadows. I think Logical Geek Boy has got his own stuff going. Isn't he part of the legacy server? He does server play. I know that much. Yeah, he's legacy. So then he doesn't need to join Hermitcraft. He can just do his own thing on legacy. Stereo minecart vibrations. It's like a sci-fi build. All right, we need a uh, toolbox. I don't think anything else in here needs repair. No, we're good. So it's just the elytra, pickaxe, do the axe as well. Well, we'll repair everything while we're here. But those are the main things. And so I and take my little break. If you're new to the channel, I um, I step away for five minutes about once an hour just to kind of refresh my coffee, give myself a break. And in the meantime, you get to watch zombie pigmen pile on top of each other. I will, of course, save you. Save you the, the, the monotony. Cool. I'll be right back.
Triskelion Soda, welcome on in. And yes, spheres in Minecraft, especially your first one, are a pain in the butt. 100%. We are all repaired except for the shovel, which is good. I'm glad that this thing works at least for five minutes at a time. Like, that's enough to get up, have a stretch, grab a snack, come back, and not have to just sit here and listen to Pigmen die. Man made subscribing with Prime. That's two months in a row, currently on a two month streak. Thanks so much, Man made. Hope you're enjoying your uh, Discord access and your water keystone badge. Uh, I need to update those badges soon. Uh, someone was asking, I believe it was Cosmic Dancer in the Discord about new art streams. And yes, now that Satisfactory is back in the mix, I feel like doing some more art stuff. Um, Will happen uh, probably in April because I have some art contracts that I'm currently trying to get finished in March and um, those have to come first but after that we should be able to do some more art stuff okay uh, I think we're good I don't need to stand here much longer snowballs go back we can just put that there. I think we have done all the things that we need to do. We'll just collect our gold and be on our way. And turn the sound back up. Wow. I'm not sure how much gold we need. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to take a chunk. Not sure how much of this is ours, but someone else forgot theirs. nice thing about having community farms is that you can just kind of come in, grab the things that you need, leave, all good. Built a mini half sphere for a glass dome on top of our nether hub. Nice. Yeah, I've got two domes in the swamp base where we just were. This isn't a dome, this is a donut, which is was also still a pain in the butt to do, especially over lava. Very dark. Cubfan does some massive builds. I was just watching his latest Termitcraft video over breakfast this morning, and when he did the the opening shot of returning to the pyramid like just the scale of that pyramid as simple as it is like it's not a on the outside it's a very simple looking build but man is it cool looking hmm <laughs> tasty nether donuts yes pink frosting and all so i think we're good to go back i don't think i need anything else Got the stone, got the andesite, got the repair. Took a quick look at the farms. Yeah, I like what Cubfan has going on on the inside of the pyramid. Very cool looking. Go through this one. I think what we'll do, since we've already walked the um, the the medieval 
realm. We'll we'll probably fly from the the teleport location. Because this is such a big server and such a long time server, we thought it would be cool um, to use command blocks um, to give quick access to um, zones that have themes like medieval or future or whatever, like 10,000 blocks away. So rather than having to walk through the nether if you forgot something, it's a lot easier to just use teleport block, which is nice. So this is actually an opportunity to show the whole town so far. Obviously a lot of work left to do. We've been working on the big the big key elements and then slowly working our way back in. I've been doing smaller builds whenever I've had the the time. Oh some friends inside. Seeking refuge in the church. I hear you. Oh, maybe you were down below me. Huh. There must be a cave outside. Underneath all of this. Oh, thanks, Triskelion. Appreciate that. Uh, We put the cosmic box back in this, I think. Cool. Uh, bone meal was, I guess, over there. I feel like we have to clean up some of this stuff. Maybe you should just move everything. Oh, run out of space. Some of the stuff we can just put back in here. That will concrete uh, green bin sand terracotta landscape box. Go back and grab the other stuff. The man has a wall of ancient debris, for goodness sake. Yeah, right? Just nuts. Man is bananas. We'll leave that there for now. All right, quartz box. Go there. The backpack we can put over here. Uh, smithing table. Not that we really use it that much. Anvil. Bones. Put this down here. Thought I had... I don't know if I had a mushroom box. Maybe it's in here. There's one kind of mushroom. Oh, they're both in there. Okay. I didn't realize I had those. Bed. Where's the other purple shulker box? Did I not have... Oh, there it is there. Yeah, a couple of these are not... My normal... Battle box, motion box, stretch desk. Yeah, okay. These ones be out here. Loop 
Dragon. Uh, Dull Shocker. Right. Sand. Did I just put sand in here? Oh, it's sandstone. Somewheres I've got more of these. Go. Back to normal. All right, andesite, we need some stairs. We need some andesite slabs. Don't seem to have any of those. And two slabs. Hurting cats! How's it going? And Brotty, hello, welcome back. So before we realized we needed to repair all, all, all of our stuff, we were looking at this and realizing we had to make some changes here. So I think we have to shorten this part here to four and then start to do a few other things like two there, two there. Feel like that works out okay? Two, 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 two. Looks like maybe one. No, because this goes there, and then here, and then yeah, okay, that works. So this is just this just needs to go here. Right, so a lot of this needs to change on the outside. Okay. CJ, hello, welcome in. Good to see you as always. We do have a mini Shulker town that we carry around with us. Like, it's just, it's kind of a lot, really. Um, is kind of a lot. Well, I'm glad we don't have to change too much about the inside of the wall. Um, we'll make some adjustments, but not much. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's right. This is going to stay here. And this is going to come down. So this is going to be up here. Well, that seems kind of silly because then this comes down again. So maybe this. We'll just go straight across this way. And we'll have to put stairs here. Because the way this is going to work is that we're going to have these cross here. So every inside one to there. That works out great. We have stairs here, there. I think we just have to add one strip of wall to the outside of the whole thing. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, we'll change this, obviously. It won't, this won't be the same shape. Um, we'll have to probably replace these with stairs. I'll, go, I'll do regular stairs for now. Normally I use something a little bit with more texture, but we'll get to that. I just don't have to pop up every time. As convenient as scaffolding can be, I, I often quite prefer having something I can just run up, you know? So we'll probably knock, we knock this back. Oop, not like that. 
And we'll either do stairs or slabs, depending on what we want to do. That looks good. This is going to go away. Uh, the sky texture is from Jersey Boy. It's a big sky dome thing. Remind me when the next time it gets nighttime, we'll wait because you can see like shooting stars and stuff. It's very pretty. I quite like it. All right, so the outside, the left-hand side of this wall from up here feels and looks pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with that. So now we just have to drop down over here and just pull this shape down. You can see where there's some spots where we have to make some adjustments. Uh, or in some cases, uh, remove remove some blocks. This is going to be removed. We'll maybe do this first. Wow. Joel does Minecraft. Not my first day. Honest. This one. Oh, wait a minute. That was supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was supposed to be added to. So then here we have to start adding in stuff. Yeah, it's been raining around here too um, for folks that are talking about weather in the chat. And uh, I, d I have to confess, like as much as it is nice to have some warmer weather, um, I'm not, as soon as the sun comes out, my hay fever is just going to go absolutely bananas and it is not a pleasant experience so i'm i'm actually okay with this mild but rainy um see part of the season especially because i mean it's just it's good for farmers like it's good for all that kind of stuff around here which is nice so i'm looking forward to that but i'm also um it means that i can str i feel uh i don't feel very guilty if i'm streaming on like a rainy gross day like, don't care. It's fine. You know, but if it's a beautiful and sunny and like hike worthy day, I, I feel a little bit strange sometimes streaming. It's a cool emote, um, CJ. I need to think about, I've got one more emote left on the channel and I'd like to try and do something cool. I know coffee cup has been what's suggested very often, but I want to come up with something a little bit nicer than that. You're not wrong. Rain is great. Yeah, I mean, plus I mean, we had a thunderstorm the other night and it was awesome. Manmade, I don't think I knew that you were in New Jersey. We're not that far apart. I mean, I'm in Nova Scotia. We're not neighbors, but like New Jersey is closer than Australia <laughs> uh, by a long shot. I say that because I feel like New Jersey and New York and Nova Scotia tend to get like the same weather systems. I get like if it rains for you on Thursday, we get it on Saturday sort of deal. So now we get to the point where everything is new uh, and I'm probably going to fill this in once we have everything sorted. 
because we have to do I think the easiest thing is just going to be to just fill it in with stone and then we'll carve out the andesite later I discovered this by accident the other day. I was doing some stuff off camera and uh, breaking your scaffolding one block at a time as you go down. It uh, eliminates that scaffolding spray that happens when, you, uh, when you're done with the tower. Another two here. And then four. Now here, I like this part of the pattern, so I want to keep that the way that I had it. This, t this wall looks really tall from the ground, but once you start building stuff up inside of it, it's actually not that bad. I've definitely built taller things before. Oops. Just used the scaffolding for the first time last night. Found bamboo right away in a new world and thought, why not put it to good use? Nice. Um, I like it for smaller builds. I don't find it very convenient for big builds. Uh, the biggest problem that I have with it is how it just goes everywhere when you try to get rid of it. And I have a hard time doing uh, detail work with it because a lot of times for things like trapdoors and whatever, you have to hold down shift to place a block. And if you're holding down shift on scaffolding, you go down. So there's no way to shift click place on scaffolding. That's not like you can hold down shift and space bar at the same time, but it looks like this. Like it just, it doesn't like shift and space bar. You bounce like this. Like this is not a convenient way to place blocks, right? Here we can probably think about where this is going to change. Maybe go back up again. Um, speaking of the uh, the sky pack, there's the look at the, the nighttime. Let me just get rid of my torch here. Pretty cool, right? Some colored stars, like there's a red star there. Some stuff that looks closer and farther away than others. Very, very cool. If we hang out long enough, we're not going to get blown up by something. Um, you can see shooting stars. There's one. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be playing a lot of Bedrock. I, I know there are some, some differences that people like, but for the most part, I, uh, I found it very weird the little bit of time that I spent in Bedrock. So it looks like we go two blocks into the next section before we change the width. So we'll go, I guess, here. And 
That doesn't seem right. Oh, because this is too wide here. goes away and then that stays the same. Nice. Very cool. Uh fiber blaster. Sorry, fire blaster. Oh eight four two, hello, welcome in. Oh, it's all good. The internet is full of lag from time to time. I've, I noticed, I tried to play, I didn't talk about this the other day, I, I spent the first, uh, I, I played about an hour, I guess, of um, Journey to the Savage Planet on Xbox, because it's on Xbox Game Pass now, and man, that game has got some frame stutters in it, and I was, I was worried there was something wrong with my TV, but I, I, I guess it's just that the port of that particular game isn't great, but... I can't find the answer. I hope it's not my system or my TV, but I was disappointed. It was really hard to play. I'm so, and I get so frustrated with that kind of stuff because I see it all the time on my, my PC, but I know that's a consistent issue. But with an Xbox, I was just like, no, don't do this to me. Why? To put these back in my offhand so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I just don't. Or, or dirt, I mean. Let's just fly around. What did I just hit? Does anybody know what was happening there? I was taking damage as I was flying. I was trying to read the chat. Dun, 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 and done. Now we just have to back up and connect this. The only thing that bothers you is switching to uh, bedrock condition is crouching for sh uh, for a shield. Oh, yeah, that would be weird. That sure is a wall. Yes, it is. It's definitely a wall. It's very wally. Not in the Pixar way. Uh, let's go down here. Not sure how much detail I want to put on the outside here. I think we have to wait until we're done with the river before we bother to put in too much. Because I don't want to start putting like all these details down around the base of the wall only to have it covered up by, by river detail and stuff like bushes and 
plants and things. I'm okay with that. I just need to remove this little spot in the middle. We should be okay. I think we'll just take that down and this down. Cool. The main purpose of this was to finish the inside because I wanted to finish the church. Uh, uh, not a general rule. I just kind of looked at the other buildings and it's about halfway at the peaks. And then this is just random. Like I just do this, the jaggy bits I do random, but it's a, it doesn't really go much past the halfway point. Um, and I mean, I'm looking at that now and it looks kind of a little bit symmetrical. Like, I feel like this might be a little bit too high. And you can always trim it back. Like it's, it's cool to look at it and say like, okay, this looks cool. It needs something. So you can pop up here, like a block, like right there. Right. And then just do something like this. Nope. Not like that. So if it ever feels unbalanced, you can kind of like toss in little details. I did a better job over on that side, right? And we'll do the same thing. We'll treat it the same way. I just don't know what this landscape is going to be yet. So I, it's there's no point in doing the wall before you know what's going to be in front of it. So now in here, we obviously have some adjustments to make as well. Um, I just uh, need to double check the top of this. Make sure. Yeah, so all of these are the new new edge so this is fine here oh that is not grass So all I'm going to do here is just pull these out. Oops. And we'll probably actually pull this down like that. back and that's a little bit flat so we'll probably add in a little curve to it maybe drop it down to there oh no I did that backwards this is the part where we have to start taking things away so there's three in the at the bottom This gets pulled away. I'm just trying to copy what I had here because I liked what I had before. Uh, Louis 69 or 20 gaming with Hattie fire blaster and Jackson. Thank you very much for the follows today. Really appreciate it. Glad you're all enjoying the stream. Oh, this gets that. Oh, that gets peeled away too. Wow. So this is three into sight. Yeah, this is where the tower was, I think. 
in the previous build. Hey, Ward, how are you? Good stuff, good stuff. Glad to hear it. I wish there was a little bit more we could do with the inside of the wall. I feel like it, it looks cool from the outside, but the inside always feels very strange to me. I don't know what else we could do up there to add any kind of detail. Outside of like creating like a brick layer or something. I don't know. Like a stone brick layer, not like a, a clay brick. I was not paying attention. I'm guessing it's probably that. So there is a brick there, and then stone, and then two andesite. And is this the edge? So we may have to add a tower in here later, uh, so I'm not going to do too, too much along here. Ta-da! Oh, I was so close. Ta-da! There we go. So that is the wall adjusted um, from having an angled tower in it to having no tower in it. Uh, it's a little asymmetrical, but so is the church, so I guess that's fine. Uh, I like the fact that we were able to keep the stairs here. It's nice. Um, I don't think we're going to change that. What I think I will do, though, is I want to go look at the other stairs that we have. Uh, where are they? There's a set over here. And I want to say there's another set somewhere else. Oh, it's in the keep. I remember now. Uh, Ethan Bear, it is Zero's minimap. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, I would say the world map is probably more convenient. You can use both. Uh, I believe the mini map relies on the world map. So if you want just the world map, you're fine. But if you want the mini map, you kind of have to have both. Um, but I find it very convenient for designing towns and things like that. Any kind of road, you know, where it's hard to look at the perspective. So this one, we went with stone bricks. I don't think I want to do that. I don't mind the railings and stuff. It's okay. Uh, I believe the other one is the one that I like better. So not this one, but there's one in the keep. Although this is a nice staircase. Uh, it's this one. Jas plays. Thank you so much for hanging out, my friend. Good to see you. Have a good rest of your day. And yes, spawn chunks on Monday. Yeah, this is the one that I like. With the, the modeled andesite in it. And then we kept the bricks along the side. I think that'll work out well. For what we want. 
Cool. So yeah, stone bricks along the inside and then andesite stairs and stuff along the inside. So andesite stairs, stone brick stairs. That's all we need. So here, I think we can probably do something like this and have the andesite come straight over. Hmm, maybe not that tall. And then maybe that one. Oops. Yeah. Feels a little bit plain at the top. You kind of get lost. Uh, we might use some trapdoors there. And same thing maybe here. I feel like that helps differentiate it about enough. I know I don't know if I want to do stairs like that. Or if perhaps like slabs would be better. The stairs do have a little bit more of a structure to them. then you can see them from the side. So I think maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Because this doesn't have any andesite in it at all, does it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's do that. It's so funny that the things you start to see that you've missed you thought we're doing okay. Maybe we'll put like one here. And then down here. Oh, do I not have any? I wonder if that would look better in the corner. Yeah, totally. Nope, too much. Spawn chunks for life. Nice, Ethan Bear. That's cool. Appreciate that. I'm glad everyone's enjoying that podcast. It's a, it's a lot of fun to make. A lot of fun to make. It does still feel pretty plain. That is not an outside wall, which means... Do this. Just a little bit of flare. I feel like we did this on the west side. Let me see here. I don't remember how to get up into this thing. Yeah, we totally added a little bit of top to the wall. Cobblestone, andesite, and smooth stone. Not smooth stone. Um, stone bricks. That actually looks pretty cool. 
I'm impressed. I don't want to put anything there. But it'd be cool if I went, like, maybe... That. This is looking so good, Joel. I know I've said that loads, but the scale and detail you're going to is just amazing. Well, thanks very much, Cosmic. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. I'm glad that it's, I'm glad people are liking it. Um, it's, I mean, it's the first time I've ever attempted anything like this, so it's definitely a learning process. Um, I don't want to get into too much here because I, again, I don't know if we're going to add a tower. I don't think we necessarily need one. If we did, it would be in the same sort of position. So if we were looking at this from here, obviously I don't want to put a, a tower like directly here because that would be silly. So it would have to be about here, I guess, if we put one in. And so we're looking steady dead straight ahead it would be about there which is about where the other tower was that we had in there um and that wouldn't be hard to do we could just we could just add it in over the over the wall um and see how it looks um uh, but i don't know i don't think i want to do anything else out here inside i know this is a little bit skinny and so i might want to flatten that out so I have, it kind of comes to a point we might want to round this to be a little bit more solid, which might help with some of the, the issues that we have there. And I don't know about that tower. I, I don't think that's going to be a good thing. If it is, we're going to make it something special and unique looking, perhaps. Um, maybe like an, a rectangle or something could be there. I don't know. Not really sure. But the other thing we have to fix about the wall, which we will do when we get back from my next break is um this part here so weirdly you don't have access to up here but there is a door here so we haven't put our stairs in but then you've got these stairs here and these stairs here that get you up to the wall on this side and i don't think i like that not necessarily a fan so we're going to try and figure out a solution for that land on top of Megan's tower here. So I think the issue here, the solution is going to be, I'm going to finish this tower and pretend like it's a standalone thing. And we're going to have the wall go straight out from it. And then we'll put the stairs up here to the next level. So this will end up being the staircase as opposed to having the staircase right here. Uh, I think it's going to be better to have the staircase going up in that direction, which might change the way the inside of the wall looks, so we might have to figure that out. Um, it also, um, we're going to need other access. Like, there's there's the staircase way over there by the by the white tower that we just finished, right? But there's no other way up here until you get down to here. So I feel like there might want to be, like, some sort of access here. So we might want to put in a staircase. Let's land on the church here. Like we might want a staircase here to access this part of the wall. Um, or maybe it's going to be here, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see, have to see. But as mentioned, uh, it is time for that break. If you're new to the channel, I step away about once an hour for five or six minutes, give myself a stretch, refresh my coffee. I'm going to brew more coffee as a matter of fact. And when I come back, we will finish up the other side of the wall. See you in just a bit.
Okay, sleep time, and then staircase repair. Mushroom-based instant coffee. It's super good. Wow, that's interesting. I went for another cup of the uh, Komodo Dragon. That's what I'm brewing right now. French press. I will have to pop up and get it in a few minutes, but it's all good. These walls are, of course, all very spawnable. So that's another thing we have to think about. Let's just put this maybe here. Okay, so let's just take out uh, everything that is not tower. And if this tower was to be finished, it would look like this. I think, wait, no, not right. Right, yeah, okay, this is wrong here. Yeah, so if that was a standalone thing, it would look like that. So my thought is to try to get this wall down to that level sooner than later. And I'm thinking it would be good if a good chunk of this was flat from the get-go. So I think here we might want to like just adjust this a little bit so that it doesn't quite run uh, at such a sharp angle. I want to double check that from the other side too. Jody, thanks so much. Have a great day at work. Yeah, I feel like adjusting this is not gonna be detrimental to the design. I don't think it's gonna look too bad. Oh, well, this isn't done either. Huh. I have not spent a lot of time down in that area. <clears throat> so yes, I think that's probably a good idea here. We'll go to at least there, which means this is going to change. Good chunk of this is going to be removed. And we're going to start the wall <clears throat> from the corner of this new, new section. So yeah, here is where we'll probably have 
singles. Two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is going to be the new wall here. That's a big adjustment. Okay. Well, we might as well just take the whole thing straight down. Get this all back down to ground level and just kind of go, go back from there. Design the top first and then fill in the rest. Same as we did the other side. Hopefully this is not too tedious. Uh, it's it's a key part of the build, and uh, I if you're ever going to do a town like this, like you're going to have to deal with walls. So hopefully people are picking up tips and ideas and stuff. Yeah, I think that'll be a little bit nicer. Half job, half job, nice. Uh, Sumatra is good. I've had the Sumatra blend from Starbucks as well. Okay, so we've got three to here, and then we've got one, 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 and then it goes to craziness. And this is far too long. So here we're gonna do probably an even number. So that's six. That means that when this comes out, here it will be a stair block and then that and then it goes into singles and it's threes and that could work out very well for us because that would mean <clears throat> that goes to there we could have that that and then here just, I'm going to make this taller than I need to be right now. Um, that means that this would be... Oh, crap. That means that has to be a stair. And that doesn't work. That's too sharp anyway. So maybe we back this up to four. And then same thing here. That goes to four. And then we'll do this one to two maybe. means <clears throat> this would be a single and then this could be this way oh that doesn't work either oh I got this backwards No. How did I mess this up? <clears throat> yeah, that's right. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That's a single. Means. And then this would be a stair. I 
think that looks okay. It's gonna be pretty sharp. But it's an inside corner. It's a pretty tight inside corner. I just don't know about the one to the four. We might want to make that two two doubles. So we've got four, 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 and two, and then one, and then four again. And usually with this kind of stuff, you want to try to go in and out a little bit more gradually. Okay. Uh, my coffee is ready, so just give me one minute. I'm just going to grab a quick AFK spot here, and then when we come back, we will execute the plan. I didn't even realize this was here. Be right back. I forgot that that bed was there. That's awesome. Hey, Herding Cats, welcome back. <laughs> Dropping in before the kitty bedtime. Nice. Kitty bedtime. Where are you in the world, if you don't mind me asking? What continent? Lulek, hello. Welcome in. And the greenest tinge is back. Hello. Good to see you again. So yes, right here we've got this going in a segment of four. And I think what we need to do here is change that to a segment of two, but that's going to mess around. That means we're going to back this up into a weird position of attaching. But we'll see how this goes. So that would be here, the stair block there, and then this here, I'm removing these. So then we'd have to figure out how to attach it on the back. And I guess I like the idea of having more of a detail on the outside here. Uh, and then we could smooth this out a little bit on the back and maybe have this be the hole where people go through, you know? We would remove probably some of this and just have a straight passageway there. I think that probably will look okay. I actually like that it exposes some of this cobblestone. It's nice. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. What do we think? I mean, for the top design part. Um, then we have to figure out how to get it down to the right level. And I think the easiest place to do that is going to be over here. Been looking for a bit, Stephen ESC. Hello. Uh, taking mental notes of the texture mixture. Oh, thanks. If you have any questions, I can I can share my thought process. Good to see you. For folks that don't know, Stephen um, streams in the server. Cosmic just put his link in chat. Whoop. Okay, so I think the next thing is just going to be to sort out the. Um, the backside here, and we've just been going two blocks into the new 
section and then going back in. So I feel like this is about where it would be. So I feel like these two sections here are where we would have to start going down and I have to make a note here. We have to get down just two blocks. That's not hard. I feel like if we did them in this section here, so these two sections of four, we brought this down. And brought this down. Right, so then we go down by a block there, block here, and then it should mean we're at the right height. question is, does this look good from the outside? So take that down. We stare there. Stare there. Then we have to drop down a bit. Whoa. Stare there, stare there. Uh, the greenish tinge, uh, it just takes practice, you know, like watch some, some other creators that you like, you know, like um, Whip. Um, I really like the imagination from people like Cubfan. Uh, Whip does all kinds of really great stuff with like textures and details, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's right there. Uh, I really like the way that Mythical Sausage approaches things too. He does some really cool builds. Um, so that this is going to be a stair, and this is going to be a stair. So yeah, it's a little bit strange terms of how it connects, but we can change the inside. Oh, those are stairs. Hold on. Whoops. This might end up not being uh, strictly a tower, it might end up being a little bit different. Alright, so that's how we're going to get the tower lower. Or not the tower lower, the wall lower. Walls is fun too. Um, cool. Yeah, I like waddles as well. Oh, Alpha Mike. Playing some Satisfactory, are we? Uh, we're going to be doing a double header today. We're going to be playing Satisfactory uh, after my next break. Yeah, see, I, I much prefer the staircase to get down from this height down this way uh, over there. Plus, it has the added benefit of revealing more of the roofs behind us. So you get the more details and stuff there. I wish all the roofs weren't the same color. I feel like that might have been a mistake. But too late now. All right, well, this should be pretty straightforward then. We can just come in here and remove all the things that are not going to be walls. Uh, actually, that's going to be site so is that 
And so this. And then this. We can just start doing our own andesite pattern again. out the roofs are often the same color in medieval towns and villages yeah that's fine uh, the thing about this build too is that I'm not trying to be super accurate historically I'm just I'm wanting to look cool aesthetically and the thing about medieval towns with the same color roofs is that they'd have different wear and tear they'd have different moss stuff on them there'd be a bunch of different things that would help you distinguish one roof from another. Um, and in Minecraft, unfortunately, they don't give you a lot of those options. There's only so many different colors of wood, unfortunately. And I'm, I am keeping this town fairly simple. Like I know that I've kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit. Oh, that's supposed to be, whoops. That was supposed to come out. Oh, we've made that quite thin, haven't we? Thanks for the lurk, Rusta Alexander. Much appreciate it. Alpha Mac says, cool, I'll be here. Awesome. Glad to hear you're going to stick around for Satisfactory. I hope most people do. I hope most people do. Whenever I switch games, a lot of people tend to, to move on. But, uh, I mean, it's still me. Still the same awesome community. And, uh, and we're actually getting to the point now in Satisfactory where things are pretty fun. Like, we're doing a lot of production work and belting and smelting and all that kind of stuff. And I, I find that stuff quite fun. Uh, we're going to bring in, we're going to start doing more like iron and, and stuff. Um, did, I, did I mess up there? I did. Four, four, this is supposed to be two, which means this is actually supposed to be a stair. Oops. One little hole to fix, but other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, you can barely tell that the wall goes down there. That's awesome. That worked out rather well. And we'll fix that while we're here. I've never heard of that game before, but I want to see you play it. Uh, I'll stick around and would appreciate a tiny bit of explaining, but I don't want to impose. No, gosh, no. Ask as many questions as you want. I totally, when I'm switching to a new game, Especially given how um, how much and how many um, people in my community um, are playing uh, Minecraft, like it's very similar to Minecraft Redstone. So if you're familiar at all with the Redstone mechanics, then um, then you'll be on board with what we're trying to accomplish. Because there's like sorting systems and and belts, and but instead of using water to conveyor things around you can actually use like actual conveyor belts 
Um, if anybody wants to throw a link in chat, I think it's just bang satisfactory. We'll get you some information. All right, so that's what the outside is going to look like. Now the inside is going to be a whole other ball game. And we're getting a lot closer to this house foundation than I had originally anticipated. So in here, I think we might want to go wider than we need to. Thanks, Cosmic. Much appreciated. Wall does get pretty low here, surprisingly. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So yeah, I think here what we might want to do is actually go uh, out like this. How does this design work? Obsidian, hey Joel, if it's not just trouble or inside baseball, would you be willing to share some voice tips that you found helpful in your journey as a podcaster and streamer? A tip for both an awesome stream and your time. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, Obsidian with 500 bits. Thank you so much, Obsidian. Um, what, by, can you get a little bit more detail? Like, what do you mean by, by voice tips? You mean like microphone stuff? Editing stuff? Um, speaking? Like, is it like presentation? What? Don't fall on podcasts. Tip number one. Um, not quite sure. Yeah, see, I think if we extend this out here, it'll look cool. Similar, like it's a, it's a mirror of what's happening here. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll then differentiate it by using the same blocks that we do in the wall design. I think we might change our minds here momentarily. Speaking of presentation, I guess, like projecting better, that kind of stuff. Oh, um, I'm not the best at projecting. Uh, I mean, I have a decent speaking voice to start with. Uh, that does help a bit. Um, but I would say as far as um, presentation, uh, it sounds like awful homework, but um, being prepared is huge. Uh, I have a show notes document that um, if you, I don't know if you're, if you're not, if you're a, a subscriber to the Spawn Chunks, then we put the show notes in, in the Discord after every show. And it's the Google Docs that Johnny and I actually read from um, during the show. Now, we don't read, read everything. Um, my philosophy with podcasting has always been uh, something I picked up from a friend of mine, uh, Scott Johnson which is uh, live to hard drive. Now he does a lot of his shows like actually live now, uh, but for the longest time, his stuff was mostly um, as if it was live, but um, it, it was basically like you, you just, you if you screw up, people are more interested to hear a little bit of a screw up because it makes you feel more real. I don't particularly like heavily edited podcasts. So, uh, I tend to, uh, I, I tend to leave mine, um, alone. Now that said, I try to, I don't always catch them, but I try to edit out things that are kind of like really not the best. Like, uh, I don't know, like a, if, if I had a dog and the dog was barking, I would edit that out of the podcast. But, but for the most part, I, I leave everything in because, um, I want to be, I want to listen to the kind of podcasts where you're flying the wall. And um, it sounds like you're just listening to a bunch of buddies have a conversation. I, I usually find that kind of stuff uh, more engaging. I feel like that, that, that looks okay, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, and if you go if you go back and you listen to my other podcasts, like if you go back and listen to my original stuff, like it's rough. So it, I mean, just like just like building in Minecraft, it takes it takes practice. So this is cool. I just don't know how to how to connect this thing. Um, if you're reading an email, uh, if you're reading something like someone a fan mail, something is wrote written um, wrote in, or if you're reading from an article, like to to say you're talking about like let's say you're talking about some Marvel movie and you want to quote somebody that you like on social media that's written a blog. Um, if you read part of that, obviously cite who you're reading, but read slow and. If you think you're reading slowed, read slower. And it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. So you don't flub up as much. You don't step over your own tongue. You know, um, it feels like you're reading like a snail. But on the podcast side of things, to play it back, it sounds way better. I'm glad you thought it was hilarious. Somebody pointed it out on YouTube in a comment. And... Um, rather than just messaging me and saying, hey, um, you forgot to edit this out. So here's the other thing about podcasting. I'm busy. I cannot listen to every two hour podcast that I do minute by minute and edit out every last little thing. It's just not worth it. I can't, I can't do it. And that's why I feel like live to hard drive is better. Now that said, I did not intend to leave in the, um, I did not intend to leave in the, the siren that went by. Um, so what I do when I'm listening to an episode or when I'm um, not listening to, when I'm um, recording an episode, I will often, um, I will often um, mark down the time code saying like, oh, hey, at this particular time, um, a siren went by. So we should probably... Uh, edit that out and then when I'm going in back and listening there's a little bit of a buffer of 30 seconds that happens at the start of the show so I have to do a little bit of math but essentially I just I go to like you know one hour and 20 minutes and um, you know edit out the thing that I'm looking for it's usually it just makes it easier to find stuff um, but uh, I sometimes think I get the edit because I didn't remember what I was looking for uh, and then end up missing it and then that gets into the public feed. So I keep on meaning to go back and fix that, but I just haven't yet. Someone with myself and Steven, right? Yeah, um, I'd say practice. Um, one of the other things that you can do as well, uh, which is good for podcasting um, growth and discoverability, is record and edit three ready to go and put them all online at the same time that way if someone likes your show and they want to listen to you they've got another couple episodes they can dive in it really helps um land solidly on itunes do you have a similar different prep for streaming streaming is live from the cuff streaming is just practice Streaming is a little bit easier for me because I've got 10 years of professional podcasting under my belt, right? So like that's that's where I can kind of um, hone those skills. Let's see how this feels. That feels good. That feels good. Feels good. This feels a little narrow, maybe. And I think that might solve our problem. So yeah, this is going to come out here. Yes, Anna changed her name. Uh, also, her uh, her Twitch and her um, Minecraft handle are, are all Anna Inferno now. Yes, I feel like that feels pretty good. I don't think we need to do anything special here. 
Uh, we might want to try to add... I don't think I want to add a stair. I don't know. I don't think that looks good. I feel like that feels forced. Unless we put something here. No. We might try one this way. Nope. I think we're just going to straight up leave it open. Unless we put a wall there maybe, but I don't think that's necessary. Cool. I like the way that that looks. Let's fly out to the front and take a look too. Oh sure, man. Did you did I answer your question? If you, if I didn't, let me know. Yeah, I, I mean it looks a little bit funny. We have to do it this way, but it looks a little bit strange. Um, so that's the only thing that I think needs to go. I think I just wanted to make a few tweaks here on the end site. It's a little bit repetitive. We could maybe come in here with one of these. And then maybe carve this down a little bit. Oh, no, other way. Other way sooner, as a matter of fact. good obviously we have to fix the river yet yeah there's a lot of tweaking that's going to be needed here but don't think I'm going to dive into it right now so now I just want to make sure it looks good from the other side here I mean there's going to be I thought there was going to be a wall here there's probably going to be a house here now that I think about it. There's probably going to be some sort of building that comes right up to here. So what this looks like is probably not going to matter too much. But we'll fill it in now just to have it done. So yeah, this is probably going to end up being like a door, like a basement door to some dwelling that we make that fits in this particular space. Um, and then I said I wanted to have a staircase that gets up here, right? And I feel like nestling something kind of like right here would make sense. That or... Hmm. I don't know. It might be better actually to whatever house, whatever building goes here, maybe the top floor would just walk right out onto it. That could be cool. Feels a little bit more secure too, you know, like just have like a right here, you can just walk right into the back door of the top floor of a house and then go down down to the next thing. That's probably a good idea. So yeah, let's um let's put that in here quickly. Just to kind of illustrate so I don't because I'll forget. I will not I will not remember that I wanted to do this. And so like maybe like this doesn't leave a lot of room it's a low ceiling actually I mean I guess we could drop yeah the entrance could be down here meaning that the floor for this place 
could be lower. Right, so then you've got your entryway right here ish. Um, let's do sure. Right in here, up some stairs. Not sure how we're going to do this, but we'll do that. So if we turn this sideways here, come up here, and then you're on the wall. So we'll come back and do, maybe this is what we'll do next time, is we'll work on whatever house is going to be here. Do I have other blocks? Sure. Let's just frame this in so we know what we're doing. Yeah, I feel like a building there would look cool. Hopefully it doesn't poke out too much from the other side. What does the word concept, the Citadel, mean to you, Fulmers? Um, so that actually is uh, how we started the name of my podcast, The Citadel Cafe. Uh, my buddy Peyton and Chad, both of whom are here in, in Halifax, where they were at the time, uh, they um, are the people that started the podcast with me. And we wanted something that would cover sci-fi and fantasy entertainment so the citadel i believe for an easy reference is um, something in mass effect and the citadel is also kind of like a cool way to think about like an elf city or something in never ending story or um i can't remember the name uh, of the palace in asgard but asgard kind of like as a thing is kind of like the citadel of that culture and so the citadel works for both sci-fi and fantasy entertainment uh, and also here in halifax you can look up Citadel Hill, uh, the Citadel Fort. You can look that up on, on the wiki. Uh, and it's a military fort from the 1700s. And it's still here in, in Halifax. So it was this great way to kind of like reference where we're from, but also have some sci-fi and fantasy stuff out there. Big part of it was the citadelcafe.com was available and uh, the name was available on all social media. So that was very easy to grab. And then the Citadel um, server, it just it's just named after the podcast, but for the same reasons. Like it gives you the options to have those builds, to build in sci-fi and fantasy, to, you know, it, you're not pigeonholed by the name of the server. Like we we didn't want to call it the magical kingdom of pancakes, right? And have, and have it be pigeonholed uh, into a certain idea, right? In the same way that Hermitcraft is, you know, it doesn't, the name of the server and the name of the, of the IP uh, of the group does not limit what they can build. Like you just, you kind of know that they're going to build whatever they want, however they want it, right? So that's that's kind of where we, we came up with the name. Put away some inventory stuff here so we're nice and clean when we come back. What is going on? Weird lag. Uh, Podzle. And I think that's it. Yoink. Magical pan um, Kingdom of Pancakes sounds like my kind of world. Yep, 100%. 100%. All right. Well, um, we are not going to end the stream, but we are going to switch over to Satisfactory. Uh, and uh, we have done quite a bit here. We made the sacrifice here to move the wall a little bit forward, a little bit of work, uh, but we now have this lovely curtain wall that goes all the way around the church. Uh, I think it will now inform us how we want to do the, the walls of the church. Uh, these details being visible from the outside are really important. 
I don't think we have to put a big window there because, of course, there's a giant wall that's going to block any window that's below this level. So I think maybe little windows across the top are going to be what we do. Uh, we haven't done all the details in the wall, but it was a big job just to get the thing to look right. But it goes all the way around. All the way around the church here. It's a nice triple thick wall. It comes around this other side. Uh, still not sure if we're going to put a tower there, so I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, we've done all of this, and we just drop the wall down uh, to only three blocks tall, actually, uh, in here, and then connected it to the tower. And that, from over here, now looks super cool. Uh, much better than the janky little staircase I had right there. Reveals more of the, of the roofs in the background, which you can see kind of cascading off into the distance. I'm um, looking forward to getting more smokestacks and stuff going too, but um, again, tower, temporary, but everything else here is done as far as the form factor. We have to texture things. We were talking last stream about putting maybe like a drain or something here would be cool. This this needs more than just a big, big flat wall of nothing. Uh, obviously, we'll put some stone bricks and things like that up there, but um, for now, I think that's pretty good. Solid stream, solid work. It's um, a big task to do a curtain wall that goes all the way around the entire town, but that I think is the first draft. Like, I don't think we need... I'm not putting a wall around this island or this peninsula. This is a this is a dock, so we don't need anything there because that's kind of protected by the towers and stuff. So really, that's the whole wall. It's not meant to be like a fortified town, but it's meant to have like at least enough of a deterrent to to turn people away. Uh, obviously, we're not going to put anything over here because that is a giant giant mountain. So I don't feel the need to to put a wall in front of that. I feel like the tower here connecting and this little bit here uh, do enough, I think, to protect things. Um, this might be a little bit low, but we can fig figure with that later on. Um, but that's going to be it for me for Minecraft. We're going to switch to Satisfactory, so don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to take an extended break, though. I need to just give myself a little bit of a rest. Plus, I need to uh, switch the games and change the stream over and all that kind of thing. Uh, but um, be sure to, to leave a like and a follow. Check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And um, for people that are just watching the Minecraft VOD later, check out the Satisfactory VODs too. Uh, listen to the Spawn Chunks on Monday. We're going to record a new episode tomorrow. And of course, keep an eye out for the Sizzle Cafe, my other podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Next time I record, I'm more than likely going to be talking about um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, as well as Satisfactory on that show as well. So yeah, it's all good. I will see you folks in just a few minutes. Hang tight. See you in a few.